Cool climate grapes, spectacular vineyard sources. Welcome to the roller coaster of Montagna Russe. Kevin, thanks so much for having us out here and letting us learn a little bit more about your inspiration. So talk to me or tell us about how did this all happen? The accidental winers. The accidental, we'll call it garage east. So sure. yeah, so uh, 2006, I, I moved up to Napa and I started making some wine in my garage. And it didn't start off so well because it was mostly Cabernet. And I don't really even drink Cabernet all that much, but I was actually stealing grapes out of a vineyard behind the St. Helena Library. No one was stopping me, which was probably the first sign of uh, going the wrong path. Wine didn't turn out so good. Second year, 2007, I stole more grapes. I figure <laughs> we're just gonna make more. Who because says crime doesn't pay? Yeah, right. So you figure we're just gonna do this and then it turned out just as bad, right? So at least I was consistent. That's, that's, that's a one component. Year number three, I went to do it, and they pulled out the, the vineyard because it was phylloxerid. So that kind of made sense. I was making wine out of diseased grapes. So I got 12 friends together. I said, give me 150 bucks. We'll go buy some killer Syrah. We did, we bought half a ton. We made one barrel wine in my garage, and that turned out great. So did you then fall in love with kind of the cool climate varietals, or did you have some sort of affinity for them early on? Why the Syrahs, yeah, the Pinots? Yeah, you know, Syrah was my first love. It will always be my first love. And I like the cool climate, that jammy, berry quality, but with that nice acid involved. So you started making Syrah for the first three years? Correct. And then you ventured out to Pinot or Chardonnay in specific regions. Yeah, so I, I decided to make a barrel of Pinot Noir in 2011. And lo and behold, that wine was gone in about three seconds. So I said, okay, Pinot sells. And I, I started falling in love with Pinot at the same time because I kind of think Pinot's kind of a gentler cousin of Syrah, similar flavors, lighter, more delicate. So, so yeah. they kind of dovetail. Well, and you're semi-new to the wine industry from a production standpoint. Correct. Last 10, 12 years. It can be a bit of a roller coaster, as Correct. you well know, from an industry standpoint. And the, the label is unique. The winery name right. is unique. Talk to us, how did you come up with that and what it means? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I found out in the first couple of years, you know, and as a winemaker, you start realizing that things don't stay constant in the barrel. We would crush these amazing grapes, put in the barrel, it tasted great. A couple months later, it tasted kind of funky. Now, as a nascent winemaker, I was, I would start to have a panic attack. I'm like, oh no, what'd we do? And then a month later, it tastes great again. And a month later, it goes to a funk again. So I kind of was lamenting one day, the original name of the winery was Three Balls In. And it was a bocce reference. Okay. Zero people got it. Thanks for clarifying. Yeah, zero people got it. Um, unfortunately. So I was lamenting one day, we're thinking, this is such a roller coaster. And I'm thinking, roller coaster, roller coaster. But I didn't want to name a wine roller coaster. Sure. And, you know, I took some French classes back in the day, um, wasn't one of my top grades. And, you know, I said, hey, the French call roller coaster Montagne Russe, which means Russian mountain. So I thought, hey, this is a perfect metaphor for the winemaking process. Well, and you come from a different background perspective. You have a strong financial acumen, all numbers, spreadsheets, analysis, forecasts, budgets, those sorts of things. And then the wine side, I would imagine, allows for some tremendous creativity, less linear thinking, and really well, kind of- Thanks for bringing it down there with the spreadsheets. <laughs> um, yes, the answer is, I've got this kind of unique yeah. right brain, left brain thing going on. My mom from an early age sent me to art lessons, music lessons. Uh, I went to cooking classes with my mom. So there's definitely a creative itch that the winemaking allows me to kind of exercise. Um, but on the flip side, the engineering finance side of me is always saying, hey, how do we do this better each year? And you've been the recipient of some absolutely phenomenal scores from some of the biggest in the industry. Aside from that, 
tell me, or tell us rather, what is some of the most gratifying aspects of the wine industry to you? We just got an Instagram saying, hey, you were one of the first people to taste your wines back in 2016, we're buying our third case. I gotta tell you, I don't remember ever thinking back in the day that people would be drinking our wine and, and the words they use were, you are our favorite wine. Wow. I never thought I would hear that. I was making wine in a garage six years ago. I never thought I would hear someone say, this is our favorite wine. And when we go to these festivals and pour, it starts off slow and by the end of the day, there's a crowd around our table and people say, we heard these are the Pinot Noirs we have to try. And that's very gratifying because it's as a chef, having someone say these are killer braised ribs, that's everything I want to hear. Right. The, the scores, they're nice, uh, they're good for publications, but you can't taste the score. And I think at the end of the day, when people are drinking these wines and having that experience, and they're experiencing what I experience in the glass, the complexity levels, that's what kind of gets me up in the morning. Well, if the past is prelude to the future and the roller coaster seems to always be the central focus at the amusement park, things are looking up and continuing to going upward. So cheers to that. Absolutely. Absolutely a great time with Kevin today. It just shows you the culinary passion from the creative side and you can make fantastic wines. It all comes down to the ingredients. Get some today. Thanks so much for all your support.